Cyber Eagle and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown. Hope y'all are having a great day. Mine's going pretty good. I decided to give this one more shot. See if y'all want me to continue. Um, if y'all do enjoy me playing this, please make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you're new here, don't forget to sub the channel. And make sure to hit that little bell so y'all can be part of my Eagle Squad. To be notified whenever I upload or stream. Now let's do it. I got three teams here set up. A troll team that is basically designed to uh, cause people to rage quit before the battle even starts. A regular OU team and an Ubers team that's basically one, uh, just the same as any of your dime a dozen teams you're going to see on Showdown. Alright. Excuse me. Let's do this. And I almost forgot, I'm going to have to make sure to remember to mute the sound. Okay. Seeing one poison Pokemon. I'm going to take a chance to bring Synchro Ninja out first. Which looks like it paid off. As long as it... Oh yep, the or my oh never mind. I thought my opponent was gonna switch. Uh oh. You know that would work would have worked really well if I didn't have a focus sash. Yeah, the goal, especially as I win this one, is to uh, try Lord willing to do one of uh, or one on each mode. With a uh, or one with each of my teams. All right. I do believe you have a. Oop. Apparently, a big problem. And I was gonna say that Primarina has got a life orb, meaning that it's gonna. It, while its attacks are 10% more power, or I can't remember how much more powerful, it's going to also lose 10% health each turn. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. About time you did something like that. All right, how do I want to do this? I'm going to use Dazzling Gleam, Gleam just to do a little damage since I was going to get messed up by switching out anyway. All right. And, yes! Praise the Lord. Generally, a Protean Greninja is really, really bad. I mean, it's uh, really, really weak. Uh, it's what you would call a glass cannon. Powerful special attack. And, basically, um, really bad defense. But, it actually can be rather useful sometimes. All right. Should be safe to use my Gliss core now. Anyway, yeah, it can be uh, rather useful once in a while. And if you do like I did and have a focus sash on top of that. Mm, arms hurting. Now if you have a focus sash on top of that, you can buy yourself some time. Hmm. 
My Gliss core is not going to help me much at this point, so I'm just trying to see if I can do some damage. Which probably ain't going to happen. But I'm also too smart to switch out right now. Then again, let me try something here. It's not going to do much damage at all, but ah, oh, crap! I should have seen that coming. But anyway, now I'm just trying to see if I can wear it down a bit. How the heck did I miss? Eh, getting kind of used to it at this point. Just to though, just additional proof that uh, the RNG for this does not like me very well. All right, you know that's actually not going to do you a whole lot of good because after the next turn. I can just use Hyper Voice again, or Hyper Voice, sip, and finish you off. All right, praise the Lord. Volcarona is going to be my next choice if I need it. Oops, shoot. And GG. Praise the Lord. As y'all can see also, I've been playing a lot. My score's gone up there. All right. Now we are going to jump over to Ubers. And depending on how this goes, I'll then go ahead and use my troll team in some mode or other. Or no, I definitely do want to use it. Just maybe in something crazy like anything goes. All right. I'm only seeing one Pokemon that can give me trouble. So. Okay, you're going to use Lugia. Wasn't really expecting that, but. Hmm. I'm going to gamble here and use uh, Rock Polish to double my speed. And I was kind of hoping I'd give you a burn. Ah, thank you. He just wasted a move. Gave me Xerneas. I'm holding a uh, uh, power herb so that I could make that happen there in one shot. That also just r reminds me I, or that reminds me I need to switch something up at some point with my uh, Halucha. I just realized it's been so long since I've built a team I messed up a little bit on that all right okay the key thing for me at least when if you have a status condition is just do as much damage as you possibly can before it hits fully Kind of like right now. Oh, uh, so that, like for example, I still got a one Pokemon lead. And as soon as I use Shadow Sneak, it is now increased to a two Pokemon lead. All right, normal, okay. Ah, that's what you were up to. All right. A lot of good it did, though. Granted, I went down to that life orb, but I did the amount of damage I wanted, which is the main thing. Let's see here. Wouldn't be a bad idea, no matter what, to do bring Groudon now. 
You're going to use protect. No, you aren't going to use protect, okay? I actually wasn't expecting that. Oh well. Time to see if we can end this. Alrighty. Poison Dragon, that's what I thought. Okay, no biggie. Your speed is. Ooh, okay, that could prove a problem. Let's see if we can wear you down with Kangish, Mega Kangish Can, actually. All right. Fun thing about Mega Kangish Can is it's a baby here will attack as well. Which means your attacks hit twice. Doing a really annoying amount of damage. I also just realized I really should have extreme speed on my Rayquaza. Probably, yeah, instead of both Dragon Ascent and Outrage. And that's why I have a Focus Sash. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. All right, let's let me uh, look for my cell phone here quickly. It's annoying how it always changes the. Uh, uh, let's see here. Do do do. How do? Oh, see, I'm over twelve hundred and basically everything but Gen Seven Doubles OU and Gen Six Battle Factory. And I'm not even sure what Gen Six Battle Factory is. But anyway, uh, what do we want to do? Hang on, let me double check to see how much room I have on anything goes. Not really much. You know what, we're going to do a doubles battle, a uh, Gen 7 doubles OU battle with my troll team and just for the heck of it, see how it goes. We're probably going to lose, but... This team can actually be pretty annoying. And after this one, I'll uh, go ahead and end the video. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, I'm now streaming on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to try to stream a few times a week, uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. If I can, at least, definitely Saturday, Sunday. Um, tomorrow, there's a decent chance, at least. I'll probably go ahead and do my... Uh, um, there we go. Anyway, tomorrow, there's a decent chance that I'll go ahead and do my... Uh, um, or stream... Mad 19 maybe on Twitch, if not some Minecraft PvP, try to kind of get back into that. Uh, we'll have to see for sure. I haven't decided completely. The God of War is going to be a mega. Yep. Now that I've done that, I've done that I'm going to bring you out and poison you. Oops. Now, Tapu Lily's going to be taking a little bit additional damage. You know what? I'll tell you back, I'm going to bring in Blissey. Alright, and while we're at it, let's go ahead and, oops, 
so much for sticky web all right hmm All right. Hmm. Okay. Yep. Serene. Gotta love a Serene Grace Togekiss. I could actually, if I hadn't already uh, poisoned Gardevoir, I could uh, switch to a Paraflinch strategy. This is the team that I really don't mind whether I win or lose with it. I just have fun, and I, I actually have made a lot of people rage quit, though. All right. Okay, uh, Gastrodon is water ground, of course, which means I need to be very careful, especially since I surprisingly don't have any uh, grass moves on this team. Let's try Psychic on it. Okay, that could potentially prove helpful. Bye bye Gardevoir. And bye bye Togekiss. Alright, gonna bring out Ferrothorn again. The only problem would be if, which they probably will, they'll bring out one of the two physical attackers here. Uh, um, Incineroar or uh, Serena. And Serena is a massive pain in the butt to face in uh, Pokemon. Especially when somebody knows what they're doing. Because about the, the best counter you can have, at least that, I, that for me, yep, called it. The best counter, at least for me, seems to be a really fast fire type. Hmm. I actually see a couple things I'm gonna I'm strongly looking and doing. First, I want to leech see Gastrodon. Send out my Gastrodon. All right. Okay, what I want to do here? Gyro Ball. Okay, I. Anticipated that was a good possibility. Oh yeah, very strong ice type can actually do some good too. Like I said, this really isn't one that I'm in to win. I'm trying at least, but I'm just kind of having fun with this one. It's safe to say they got me because, uh, especially if their Serena has a uh, grass type attack. Huh. Okay. Oh, yeah, I forgot you, you probably had Storm Drain. All right. Let's see here. You have to put in Incineroar. Yep. I may be able to get one last decent move in, depending on how fast this Incineroar is and how hard it'll hit. Okay, that wasn't what I was expecting, actually, but, eh. All right. I like to keep on fighting, even if I know I'm going to lose. But, I won the two battles I actually cared about. Like I said, this one, that's why also I'm on my one of my worst two uh, modes. This is just to have a little fun. Oh, yeah, Storm Drain affects both.
All right. Well, I guess, y'all, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to sub the channel. And have a great day, y'all.